I think maybe we'll run down and take a look at a truck camper. So we did a thing. We got a new adventure toy. Toys. Houston, we have a problem. I didn't see this coming. I'm Tammy, and this is my husband, Scott. Till further notice, we are on a mission to explore, create, and we hope to inspire you to try new things, too. All right, I've been on crutches for a week, and finally going to be time to go find an orthopedic to take a look at my other knee. This is my my right knee. My left knee is the one that's been operated on a couple of times that definitely is needing a knee replacement but now my right knee is uh, not looking good. Probably has a little bit to do with uh, going out and cleaning out tag along and getting it ready for market but there's been a bunch of stuff and trimming trees. Oh and building a deck. Not to mention, we went and bought a couple hard-sided pedal kayaks. So today is a little bit different because we've got two new to us kayaks that aren't new at all. They're, but they were nice when they were new. <laughs> we're actually fishing kayaks, but because we're always filming and vlogging and Scott wants to take some wildlife photography when we are kayaking with the pedal we can keep our hands free to use to take pictures and vlog you know and then there's another thing that we haven't done before and that's we're taking Tammy's parents with us in the inflatable and if you remember in the last couple of videos ago the inflatable was sinking kayak is losing air quickly we're turning around hopefully the patch is going to hold otherwise the in-laws are going to be soaked so. so we're going to do something that we haven't done yet we're going to do the entire length of the rainbow river we're going to drop off a vehicle at the blue run Donellan park and then we're going to go up and put in and float down it's about four miles so never done it It'll be good. I hope we see some wildlife and it's a beautiful day. Okay. I'm ready to go riding. <laughs> I'm ready not to not get wet. <laughs> oh, I don't, no guarantees there. I know. I'm ready. I'm excited. All right, we're going to load mom and dad into our truck and head on up the road and put in and hope for a miracle. I am 95% sure that I got the hole fixed and the inflatable. You guys feeling okay with that? Sure. Yeah, that's yeah. fine with me. We're good. They say that now, but just wait. Yeah. Well, I've already backed myself into weeds. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the rudder works. Scott's got it down. I'm suffering. So used to Scott helping me, I'm feeling codependent right now. made it all the way to the end. It was more like five miles from where we launched. And then we realized Dad left his keys in the other truck. So my brother had to come save us and now they're gonna go get the truck. But other than that, it was a good day. Thank you for saving us. You're welcome, it was my pleasure, of course. <laughs> yeah, his uh, 
good knee ain't, ain't so good anymore. We're gonna find out what's going on tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, just right when I'm making really good progress on my to-do list, this happens and that's life. I'm gonna take my coat off because I don't want him weighing that too. Today's doctor day, knee day. So far, so good. They have really good art on the walls here. He's representing even on his cane to a better nose sticker. Well, doggone it, the scale's broken at this one too. Just like last week at the rheumatologist. They need to calibrate all the scales of the whole health system. So we got the x-rays done, just waiting to talk to the doctor. What's the scoop? I like him. He's uh, conservative. He's not saying, hey, let's just go out and replace your knees right now. It's more like when you need to, you can get it done. Um, cortisone. So hopefully the cortisone will kick in. He does need a knee replacement on his left knee for sure, but as long as he can keep going, he's going to keep going. But hopefully that cortisone will help his right knee and he can stop hobbling around. With that said, I think maybe we'll run down and take a look at a truck camper. It's a, uh, it's an older one. Can't keep him down for long. So, what did you think of that Arctic Fox? Um. It was used. <laughs> it's old. I didn't see any huge red flags as far as leakage concern. Probably quite a few things would have to be replaced on it. And so you got to factor all that in, you know. Used used rig, used camper, um, lower price, but you got to start adding in, you know, you know, do you need a new furnace? Do you need a new water heater? Do you need a new refrigerator? air conditioner for sure. You can definitely tell the quality difference in an Arctic Fox versus like a, what was the other one we saw? It was a Forest River. Oh yeah. The Palomino. Palomino. So the Arctic Fox, despite its age, had like real wood solid cabinets. You could just tell it was built a lot better. There's not many of them around. Not, you know, if you look. Not in that size. There's a lot of really big. Yeah. Uh, campers available because you have to have a really big truck to haul that and while we do have a big truck even our truck would be pushing the limits but then I'm thinking Scott needs a knee replacement he just got a cortisone shot in one knee how much work does it really need and is it worth the body damage or should we just splurge and get a king star <laughs> anyway a conversation for another day. It's all a learning curve, and every time we go look at something, we're a little bit smarter. This is gonna be the free and easy part of our journey as far as our views are concerned. We're kind of going back to free and easy. That's so the plan. I may be able to talk her into a pop-up camper yet. No, we've already done a pop-up. We're gonna kick the can down the road a little bit, and we're gonna get our RV on the market and get a decent price for it. And then I'll be feeling better about what we do moving forward. We're gonna get in the house now and let him rest and go say hi to Gracie. Hi, Gracie. Hi. That's the health issues that make us feel really fortunate that we got out and did what we did for three years, full timing in the RV having a home base is going to add longevity to our adventurous desires we'll be back out there don't worry about it the things you see in the villages heaven's waiting room what'd you just see well a guy just came out of wawa with two packs of marlboros and he uh hit him in the uh spare tire compartment so must be hiding that from somebody, probably his wife. Now he's smoking one before he gets in the car and goes home. He's an older guy. 
He looks really fit. Maybe that's what we're doing wrong. We need to start smoking or something. Looks like he's in better shape than us. But he's definitely hiding the cigarettes and the spare tire compartment in the trunk of his car, which is hilarious. I feel like filming him in like a private eye and sending it to his wife. Probably hiding them for good reason because there's nothing wrong with keeping a few things from your wife. What are you keeping from me? <laughs> it's okay, I have secrets too.